All right, all right, all right. Listen, Smith, I know we've already moved like three times, okay? But this is Helm's Deep, okay? We got secure water and a lot more space than the castle's already built. All right, we don't have to work that much. No, I don't care if you want to go back to the village. We're living here. <laughs> hey, guys, Gunshy Mori back here with another video. So as you guys can see here... um. I have had some downtime lately, and I have been playing ARK, but I have not been recording, but I have not done much. So I did move over to uh, this little, like, Helm's Deep area, you know, kind of in the Box Canyon. You guys are all know, you guys all know where I am. I've done a couple of videos here for, like, uh, Fenrir and all that. But I've gotten it lit up. I've been working on some stuff. Mostly all I've done is get metal going. I need wood. They're all out of wood. And I found the village that drops all this stuff in order to get honey. So, all I need now to tame the Ovises is some sap. That's all I need is some sap. So, I just need to figure out where sap spawns on Fenyordor and get out here. But, I also do need to get some water set up. So, I don't know if I want to pull from like back here, You guys, as you guys know. Also, are there still bats in here? There was a Desdemonus in here earlier. So, I'm actually going to leave. Because <laughs> there was one in here. So. I'm pretty sure they've... It, I'm pretty sure it might have slipped out of the map and up. Because I've also noticed this. All the bats that spawn back in there, like at nighttime, for some reason when I come out here, they're the same bats like up here above the mountain. Like right here. I always find those bats, and I know it because there was a blue and red one in there when I first started moving in and all that, and then like when I was moving out, there was another blue and red one, same level up here, and then when I killed it, the one in the cave disappeared, so maybe that's what happened to the Desdemonus, maybe it got that little like teleported out of the cave kind of thing, but yeah, um, anyways, uh, I'm gonna move on from like, you know how I've been doing like day one, day two as well. We're going to be doing multiple days an episode now, seeing how we are set up, and it is taking us a bit longer to do stuff. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to quickly show you guys where the village is from where the castle is. So, the castle is, like, back down there at this end of the canyon. And then all the way down here, legit, right over here at this corner. You're coming down here right before that lake. It's up on this cliff side. And hopefully they have respawned, because I'm not sure if uh, all the fruits and vegetables respawned yet. But they have, and there's a Therizino, so I'm not going to land. But yeah, the carrots and corn haven't respawned, but right down there is usually where all that stuff is. Right in this crop field. Um, that's where I found it. There's also usually a bunch of like boxes around that you can get scrap metal and tools from. Um... Don't break them all, because I don't think they respawn. I haven't seen them respawn. But, yeah, no, I have a bunch of metal tools that I've thrown out on the ground, and I really should have just kept, <laughs> probably. Yeah, but I like, had a hundred pounds worth of metal tools. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go figure out where I get sap from uh, Fenyordor. And, yeah. I also nearly forgot to tell you guys, I have been grabbing these as I fly by, and I've also kind of started leaving selective breeding going. So, like, all, uh, what that means is, is all the high levels, I've been leaving everything from 100 up alone when it spawns, and all, like, the low level 25s and all that I kill. So, eventually, what happens is you just start having a bunch of high levels pile up, and you just start getting a bunch of high level eggs. I got, I think, three 150s, two 130s, a level 100, and then a 95. 95, I think, was just one that slipped in and I picked up the egg. But anyways, it's probably going to be our practice egg along with the level 100. So that way I can just get a good feeling on how to raise these guys. Uh, then I'm probably going to start with the 130s and try to get that as our breeding pair if they come out good. But anyways, yeah, we got some Dinosuchus eggs. Yeah, get me some iron. I'm a holy shit. <laughs> that is like all about to break. <sighs> zero durability. Zero durability. Zero dur. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's 
all it's all at zero durability. This is like a wall raptor is gonna break this. Oh my god. Let's put on this flak. Alrighty guys, so as we waded through the night, I figured out what we need to do. <clears throat> Basically it's just trees. I need to go hit trees and some of them drop sap. And also through the night, uh, while I was figuring that out, I made me look like a viking with some of the, was it, the viking wardrobe skins. Yes, that mod has already been added to the collections, the collection, and if you're looking for the collection, link in the description. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm looking for like a certain type of small tree, but like all the branches on the bottom are dead. So something like these guys, but like the bottom branches are all brown. The thing is, the dude that was doing this was like finding them all down at the coast. And yeah, it's supposed to be like that one, but small. Like a very small version of that tree right there. Those are, oh, doe laying next to the Deodon, or whatever they are. I don't think those were Deodon, but they were something. Let's quickly just see, are we going to get sap? Nope. Alright, so I probably have to head down. Uh, that is a Giga. I, I just panic pause the recording. <laughs> um, Yeah, that is a Giga. That is one of the R Gigas, I believe. Let's see what level you are. Okay, we are, uh... Go, 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 go! <laughs> Lead him off the cliff and into the water. Oh my god, I was shaking. <laughs> you guys probably saw it when the mouse just all of a sudden started going. <laughs> As I'm trying to fly away. <laughs> I thought the Giga was going to turn around and nip me in the ass. Oh... Uh... I legit, like, had a pant. I just started panicking. I'm also flying the wrong direction. I want to go this way. Oh, that R Giga, though. That's that's awesome. It's definitely an R version, but look at those colors. I would so tame it if this wasn't, uh... Yeah. I can only tame certain creatures on this map. What are, you, are you just a normal one now? Yeah, there's a normal Giga in an R variant? Okay, so I guess they both spawn on the map. At least they're not mate boosted. Look at how close these Gigas are. And the only reason there's probably two right here is because of my settings at the 1.5. So, yeah, two Gigas within a couple feet of each other. Uh, we are so screwed if we uh, run out of stamina. So let's get the hell out of here. Alrighty, as you guys can see here, you see this tree here with like all the brown leaves on the bottom that are dead? Right here in front of uh, Smith. These ones give sap. I guess not all of them give sap. Does this one give me sap? Yes. How about you? No? Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm wondering. Yeah, so it's probably just the, these, I can't find anymore. I think those were the only two that were there. Uh, huh. Yeah, it, they're supposed to be like little trees, like those ones that look like dead on the bottom. You hatch at them and then you get it. See if I can find some more around here. There's a Baryonyx. Okay, uh, there, there, that tree. These. Yep, this one right here, these kind. You get sap from. So now that we got sap, we should have enough stuff to make some vegetable cakes. So I'm going to head back to the camp and, oh, well, yeah, head back to the fort and go make that. Uh, what what are you doing in my house? Excuse me, sir. Who invited you? Oh my God, you're level ninety five and you're blue and red all the way through. Let's give this new sword a test. Get 
Get back here. There you are. Also, if you're wondering where I set this up at, it's just like back here in the corner. I'm planning on... I'm planning on not finishing this base until we actually get back from completing all the other ones because this is kind of like the end game map you have to kind of complete all the other ones on hard to really use the reward from the end of this one or to do it really because basically our goal is to get Mjolnir now that is the goal we have to be able to wield Mjolnir by the end of the series and have all our creatures but yeah oh yeah yeah I need to go craft the vegetable cakes oh that's a 150 Troodon in my base. Smith. <laughs> We're killing it. That thing legit just... I thought at first... It, oh my god, look at that little uh, Oviraptor. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, 150 female. I was just running over here to quickly get some berries. I need more stem berries to make stimulant. Damn, I didn't expect that. Alrighty, guys. So we got the vegetable cakes cooking. And I'm just sitting here fishing, fishing, waiting. So. I don't think there's anything in this river that's going to take honey. That's all I got. And all I see is salmon and piranha. Well, unless one of these salmon decide they want to try some honey. I might not catch anything. So, we'll see. Alrighty, I just got a fish. And I got me Apprentice Chitin. Gauntlets. Alrighty. That was awesome. I didn't even see the quality of the fish, but it was a big one. I mean, like, right as I hit pause, it grabbed it. <laughs> and I didn't want to hit pause again because I didn't know if that would... The count is a wrong key and let it off the hook. But salmon will grab these. That's nice to know. I think I threw that right where they probably wouldn't be able to get any. Oh, that's far out there. I won't be able to see what's going to grab it. But it's in the deep water. It's in the deep. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to make a decision here where we're going to get Ovis and Fjord Hawks tomorrow. And I'm going to just hatch some Dino Dinoticus eggs or, yeah, Dino, I think that's there, Dinoticus, Dino, yeah. I'm going to hatch up some of those eggs um, because I need cryopods because I'm going to probably have to transport like five Ovises at a time to feed one Fjord Hawk. Um, I might do the taming. I don't... If I can find the high-level ones, I might do the taming today as I'm hatching up these eggs. But until then, Fenjord Hawks are propose, postponed till tomorrow. I have to go find Polymer and all this stuff to make cryopods now. Okay, guys. So... I'm trying... There's, oil, there's like, oil above me, and I need that to make cryopods. Except... I can't craft an oil pump. I don't have the stuff for it. Tech oil pump. Dang. Nice. What does that even do? No, it sends the oil back to the S plus dedicated storage. Um, you know what? I saw a mod a little bit ago. So let's go see if that's still around. Okay, I have found it. Primitive replacement. There it is. And it is in. Okay, to craft the wooden oil rig, now all I need is metal, crystal, a torch, and wood. Uh, that won't be hard. Uh, I'll get those set up real quick. Alrighty, now all we need for those uh, oil pumps is the metal. Uh, it's still cooking here. I should be able to get one crafted, though. All I need is, like, 55 metal. So. Uh, craft. Oil. Yay, we got one rig. Awesome. So. That means I can also take this wood and split it up. Oh, you're out of metal. You 
could use some wood. All right, I'm just going to go place down one pump up here. I'll show you guys where these nodes are as well. Because I don't think I have. So, if you just come right up here. And it's like right up here on this cliff. There's three oil nodes. There's one there. One there. And one here. I'm going to set up over here on the furthest one to the left. Boom. Oh, one of the one of the bats got out of the cave. <laughs> See what I mean? They kind of like just fly up through the world around here and come and attack you. Yeah, because this is kind of right above where the cave is, I believe. You go in that tunnel, and yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, now we got this uh, little oil pump going. Shouldn't take too long to... Oh, it's going to take longer than a normal oil extractor to get oil. Is the thing. So, I don't... It might be quicker to run find some, but... Yeah, we got an extractor going. Ah, uh, shit. Well, dang it. I don't know. Let's get... I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. I have no clue what I'm doing anymore. Uh, I, I, uh, this is a mod. I have no clue if I'm going to even keep in the collections because I don't know how well it's going to work. It seems to work with everything. It just gives you a simple version of the oil pump. Like, that's wooden. It's a little low, it's a little low res, but yeah. Well, yeah, we get, oh, we get oil somewhat decent. We got one there. I am going to need a couple, so I'm going to just leave it, leave it, go, let it be, and all that, so... Yeah. Um, also, I think this is getting... This video has been going on for quite some time. Or I've been playing for quite some time and getting just clips. Or whatever. But, yeah. Um, so you guys know what's about to happen. As you can see now, I look like a Viking. But, yeah. If you guys are liking Ark, or this Ark solo series, please go check out the collection. And leave a like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to try and post an ARC video every day or every other day. Now that I got it, everything sor sorted out. But yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori signing off.